So where's the edge? Who's to say that there is an edge, and why assume there is one? Is it because when we are introduced to the idea of a flat earth, it's always depicted like this? In the currently most accepted model, Antarctica is not a continent, but a 360 degree land mass made up of ice that holds the oceans within. When we look at a Gleason's map from 1892 that states at the top that it's scientifically and practically correct, as is. We see this Antarctic ice rim. The Gleason's map is basically an azimuthal equidistant projection, which can be traced back to the year 1000. The AE map is also an official map of the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, and the official logo for the United Nations. The oldest known globe in the world is from 1492. This is something you need to keep in mind because many people argue that the azimuthal equidistant map is just a flattened out version of the globe, when in fact the globe is just a rounded version of this true world flat map. If the flat map came first and it has the ability to convert into a globe without any problems whatsoever, then that should tell you a little bit about how this globe deception was achieved. Now, back to if there is an edge or not. There is no proof that there is an edge past the Antarctic ice wall, but it is speculated by many that perhaps the plane that we live on is either extremely expansive or it's possibly endless. In these two scenarios, it would be logically assumed that more land is being hidden from the general public. In a 1954 interview with Admiral Richard E. Byrd, an American naval officer who specialized in exploration, he had this to say. But strangely enough, there is left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. Implying that there is more land past Antarctica. If that uninhabited land was on a globe, it would be in the Indian Ocean. A recent discovery of an old Buddhist map in a newspaper from 1907 seems to support the idea of a vast plain with much more land. 